I want to tell you a story about some amazing things that have happened to my students and I as we've started NGOs around the globe. Back in 1998, Hurricane Mitch destroyed most of the country of Honduras. 20,000 dead, 20,000 missing, and about a million people were homeless. That country was set back 50 years, said the UN. And we launched, we launched a little effort to try to help some families rebuild their lives, rebuild their, their homes, and start some sort of income generating project, which we call microcredit, microenterprise development. <clears throat> we went down there to help those people. We were committed. We raised $116,000. We created about 800 new startup tiny enterprises for the poor, with the poor. We shoveled the mud out of schools and repaired those schools and painted those schools and took down education kits for the children of those schools and their teachers and were able to help reopen a number of schools the government had declared would not be reopened for four or five years. And they, they agreed to f send teachers to every school we prepared and cleaned and upgraded so they could teach children again. Uh, one of my favorite experiences of that experience, though, was the realization early that summer that what we were doing in behalf of the poor the refugees, those who'd lost a family member, those whose homes had disappeared, what we were doing wasn't just a service to them. It was a way for us to learn from them and to build relationships and build partnerships and have some sort of mutual understanding. We came back changed as well as hopefully changed some of their lives, some of their families, some of their world. And I just remember some of those students we had coming back to the university end of the summer saying, all right, now I had had three months in Honduras. I'm ready now to really learn and make my education more relevant to solving human problems and reducing family suffering. And some of them came back and changed their majors. I remember a young woman, her name was Vicky, as I recall, she had a roommate down there. They lived with a family in the family's chicken coop be behind the little house the family lived in. And it was a tough time. I thought they would come back in six weeks or two months, but they stayed three months, then three and a half months, then four months, and finally they came back. Vicky came to meet with me. I wanted to get a little report about her experience, and she said, I just loved it. It was fantastic. I learned so much. I developed Spanish skills. I learned to love a family there like I loved only my own family here in the U.S. And among other things, she said, it was a life-changing experience for me. And at Help International, we began to use that as our mantra for the future. We're not just going to serve victims of an earthquake or to rebuild after floods or to create jobs where there's great poverty. We're sending students, young American college age kids who can have a life-changing experience, come back and commit to doing work like that the rest of their lives. At the end of our conversation, I asked Vicki, what was the most meaningful experience that you had there? She said, oh, there's so many, I, I can't really think of one. And she says, well, I guess I'd say this, Besides microcredit, besides teaching health care, I was able to help deliver five babies in a rural Honduran clinic. I was shocked. I was bowled over. I would not heard anything about this. I said, why did you do that? She said, because I was needed. There was only a, a nurse there from time to time during the week, and many women had medical needs and so we did a lot of first aid work in that clinic. We had access to it, the nurse asked us to be there every day. And she said during those times my roommate and I as well as the nurse on several occasions we worked together to deliver these new baby Honduran 
children. And I was so shaken up. I said, well, how many of them lived? She said, oh, they're all alive. Everything was great. Their mothers left the clinic right after. They didn't even stay overnight. And everything was good. And so I shook her hand and said, well, thanks, Vicki. I am so proud of you. I'm glad this succeeded. I'm glad you had that meaningful kind of experience. I didn't even know you were in nursing. Or are you going to do pre-med? Are you, are you going to be a doctor? She said, oh, no, I'm an accountant. That's when I realized the power of social innovation and social entrepreneurship from college students.